guys, today we are going to be talking about thongs. If you guys want to see all of my thoughts, my advice, and then answering some of your frequently asked questions, then keep on watching. Make sure to thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos, and leave other video topic requests in the comments down below, and also subscribe so you don't miss a video. But let's get into it. So I actually had a video about thongs that I made when I was maybe 15, and that basically was like, here's how to ask your parents, and here's how I got a thong, and I'll cover all that here too, but I also want to add a little bit of perspective to it, which I feel like I can do now that I'm 21 and like I can go out and buy my own underwear. It's crazy. Um, but okay, starting out, pros of thongs. And in case you're one of those people who are living under a rock, or in case you're one of those people who just clicked on this video because you're like, maybe she'll show her underwear, you're all in luck. This is a thong. So this one is from Adormi. This isn't sponsored, just where I get my thongs from. Um, and it's one of those lace fronts. And then it's got a thinner band here. And that goes up your ass. So essentially you don't have any panty lines with thongs, which is the basic pro of it. And then also as you get a little bit older or you start to discover your sexuality, another pro is a lot of people find them really sexy and it's a big turn on for a lot of people. But I'm gonna focus more on the panty line, like getting your first thong, which hopefully if you're like 14 or 15, which is when I wanted my first thong, your main motivation is like, I don't want panty lines and it's not like I wanna look sexy for my boyfriend. Like in, in case that is your motivation, I have lots of videos on like safe sex and losing your virginity and I will link those down below and please check them out because you shouldn't ever like take a step towards something that you're not ready for so those videos will be down below but let's get into this one so pros no panty lines and I feel like the one main problem that a lot of people have and that I had too is how the hell do you go about asking your parents for a thong because it's such an inherently sexual thing you know immediately even my brain goes to like sex and, uh, you know, obviously a parent who's gonna immediately go to sex and looking at their child, they're gonna be like, no. <laughs> but, you know, there's a couple of ways to go around it. I think, first of all, if you are gonna go the route of asking your parents for a thong, which we will discuss other possible routes in a second, so I would just approach this in a way that's very casual. You go up to your parents and you're like, hey, I'm really tired of having underwear lines when I'm changing in gym class and then, you know, we're wearing leggings and yoga pants and I just don't feel super self-confident in it. Could we go and get some underwear next time we're shopping that, you know, doesn't show underwear lines? Notice how I avoided the word thong. Notice how I avoided throwing out a store like Victoria's Secret. You know, you might have to settle for some Walmart thongs for the first little while of this transition. And here's where the perspective comes in, okay? This isn't the only kind of underwear that you need that doesn't show underwear lines. This it has a back, like it's got a pretty full back, but it's lacy, so it's not gonna show the underwear lines. It's a very thin material, it still feels nice. I prefer this personally to thongs. So don't think that you need to go out and get a thong to like be accepted or to be cool because I can promise you no one cares when you're changing in gym class, no one cares when you're walking around with your yoga pants. Like you can find under other kinds of underwear that doesn't show underwear lines. You don't need to have a thong. It's not like a rite of passage. But again, if you want one, hopefully that's a way that you can kind of include your parents in the situation. Personally for me, I just remember being in, I think it was like La Senza, and I was buying one of those really lightly padded bras because I was just like, mom, my nipples keep poking through my trainer bras. I hate it. And she was like, okay, whatever. And then I just picked up a thong and I was like, can I get this too? Panty lines, you know? And she was like, I don't, like whatever, who gives a fuck? Which, just in case there's any parents watching, like, the more chill you are about shit like this, about thongs, about like having a sip of wine, about like going to a party and talking to boys, the less that kids have the urge to rebel. Like my parents were so fucking chill about everything. They were like, yeah, have a sip of my beer. I don't care. They were like, yeah, go out on a date, you know? Give me his name, his number, and tell me where you are, but like, go and do you. And I never like snuck out of the house, got super blackout drunk. I've always been a very responsible person because I never had those hard limits placed on me. Like, there's ways to keep your kids safe and to prepare them for like the big life changes like sex and everything, but like banning thongs and banning a drop of alcohol and banning parties and banning boys is not necessarily the best way to do that. For sure, put some limits on them, but like pick your battles and like a thong is not a huge fucking battle. Like let them have that one. And in case you have that relationship with your parents where you're like, I would literally rather die than ever talk about thongs with them, get an allowance, get a part-time job, go buy your own fucking underwear. Oh my God, but my mom does my laundry. Wash it in the sink. 
Like, there's ways around this shit. And I'm not sitting here being like, go and sneak behind your parents' back, but like, at the end of the day, it's a pair of underwear. Who cares? And if your parents are the kind that like, if they find this, God forbid, you're grounded for eternity, just don't get a thong. Like, don't. Just don't. Just don't get a thong. Pick your battles, too. If your parents are way too strict, like, dude, you're out of the house in five years tops. You know what I mean? So just pick your battles, live as cohesively as you possibly can, and in the grand scheme of things, not having a thong is not gonna ruin your life. And I know I sound like that bitch older sister that's like, just calm down, but like, seriously, just calm the fuck down. It's not a huge deal. If your parents are a little bit more chill and you like have that sort of freedom, go buy your own, wash it in your sink, like just whatever, but also, if that's gonna like start World War III in your household, just don't buy one. But also speaking of washing thongs in the sink, whether you're doing it in the sink or your parents are doing your laundry or whatever, make sure that you're washing them after every use, which you should be doing for any kind of underwear or undergarment anyways. Well, maybe not bras, but like underwear. Because if you don't, thongs especially, they're right on your vulva and they're right on your butthole. So <laughs> you need to wash them or else you're more susceptible to infections. And another one of your guys' most frequently asked questions is, but what do I do when I'm at the store? Like, I don't want people watching me pick this out. This is a lovely lesson in life. Who fucking cares? Like, people are gonna watch you. Yeah, that one middle-aged woman might sit there and look at you and be like, oh, that 12-year-old is getting a thong. Like, who cares? Who cares? She is concerning herself with you buying some underwear. Like, that is more her problem than it is yours by a lot. So just don't concern yourself with what people think. And it's good to start young practicing this. So if you're going and you're buying a bra, or if you're going and buying a sexier pair of underwear, who cares? Who cares what people think? Because you're never gonna see that judgmental bitch again, and you're gonna have a nice new pair of underwear. So start early, literally. It's a practice sort of thing. You need to practice not caring what other people think, and I swear to you, it comes in so handy throughout the rest of your life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any more specific questions or other sort of more sexual taboo topics that you want me to cover, or any of my older girl talks, I know I've done shaving, which I wanna do another one on, that you want me to redo, let me know in the comments down below. Again, subscribe so you don't miss an upload, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.